I'm gonna start by putting two chicken breasts into a crock pot. Just we got our nice little meat tenderizer. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a couple of, a couple of tenderizers. I have this wonderful garlic Parmesan sauce by BW3s. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze the entire bottle on. So just go and don't be shy with this stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead and save this bottle for later. I have some fresh basil. We're gonna throw that on to taste. I have some garlic powder. We're gonna throw that on to taste. I have some of this thyme we're gonna actually put on there to taste. And I like it spicy, so we got yeah. these red pepper flakes we're gonna put on to taste. Then we have some fresh pepper. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of eyeball that. We have the same with the salt. It already smells really good. It smells really good. We gotta have some vegetables in this dish, so we gotta have some of these rainbow carrots. We're gonna go ahead and throw an entire two cups on there. And then we have another two cups of fingerling potatoes. You can use any kind of potatoes you want, but I think the fingerlings just cook better. And you remember what I said, we need to save this for later. We have some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna go ahead and fill up about half of this jar with whipping cream. Gonna go ahead and shake it a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and dump that all over the mixture. Look at that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and mix all this together, getting all the spices and juices combined all over the vegetables and the chicken. We're gonna cook this on low for six hours or high for three. It's been six hours, if you look at that. Wow. Looks beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is we actually have these, what I call meat hooks. We're gonna go ahead and go like this and we're just gonna go ahead and kind of shred this chicken up. As you can see, it's shredding perfectly. Oh my gosh, this mm -hmm. is great, guys. So this is gonna shred the chicken without ruining the potatoes or the carrots. Those are gonna stay intact. This is also gonna mix up all the juices. Once that's done, we have an entire bag of bow tie pasta and we're gonna dump the whole thing into the mixture. And we're gonna take our spurtle and we're gonna go ahead and stir that up. Make sure the pasta is completely submerged. It's gotta be submerged. Cause it is gonna soak up all of these juices and it's gonna cook perfectly. But guess what? We're not done. So smooth it out like this. We're gonna take two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And we're gonna put it on top of this mixture and we're gonna go ahead and kind of smooth out with our hands just like that. And we're gonna cook it for another 30 minutes on high. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and when you look at that, oh my gosh, does that look good. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and get a nice big scoop of this, making sure we get some of the pasta, some of the chicken, some of the potatoes, some of the, some of the carrots. And let me tell you, this looks amazing, guys. And the potato looked cooked perfectly, just like I thought it would. And then the carrots are gonna be cooked perfectly. So let's go ahead and get a nice bite of this. And let me tell you, this stuff, it, it, it's good for any situation. It's super easy to make. Give it a shot and let us know how you like it. Oh my God, it's so good.